National Guard deployed, hitting the streets hard. There's been a stay at home order, driving bans, and crazy looting happening right now. Cities where you have to stay put, no coming and going, and no driving anywhere. With Biden declaring a federal emergency, we're therefore experiencing more of those superpowers under the emergency acts. Can you guys imagine being told not to leave your home, no one to come and go, and a driving ban. You can't go anywhere. Well, I hope in the middle of a crazy winter storm, you're prepared. Well, God forbid you not being prepared in a crazy winter storm and having to stay home. I find this ironic. At the same time, you've got platforms trying to reach out to people asking if you know someone that is overprepared and you're concerned because they can confidentially help you out. In my opinion, starting to shape the minds of people to shift the masses of thought right, to identify people who are prepared and ready for an emergency to be that. Just absolutely crazy that they can tell you to stay home, tell you you can't drive anywhere, and tell you you can't be prepared. Well, I hope you guys are prepared because there's a lot more storms coming. Let's go over some of these details. back to our channel. If you guys like news updates that affect you, prepping tips, emergency preparedness how-tos, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So as you can see with headlines like this, blizzard of the century, death toll rises, military to enforce driving ban in Buffalo by ABC News. You've got some news outlets putting out there that the military is there to help shovel people out. And then you have other news outlets saying that they're there to enforce curfews, to enforce road bans, traveling, stay in home orders, and also to attack the mass looting that's happening. It's funny, anytime that there's an emergency, stay at home order, you gotta stay home, it brings out the best of people. All the bad guys know that there's no one out, so they go out and start looting. And you guys gotta remember, state of emergency, federal emergency, military deployment, driving bans, stay at home orders because of a winter storm. If you haven't noticed, they're getting really good at turning just about anything into an emergency. Because what comes with an emergency? Special powers and a lot of funding. Just my opinion. You guys can let me know your guys' perception on it down below in the comments. But so far, this is what it's all adding up to me. It's right here on CBC News says President Biden approves state of emergency in New York over deadly Buffalo storm. New Jersey sends aid. It also reads that at least 27 people have died, which I think it's getting closer to 30. Super sad, but at the same time, is a winter storm out of the norm in Buffalo, in New York? It also says that the National Guard and state police were out enforcing the ban Tuesday night. Now there it is, like I said, some news outlets are saying they're out there helping shovel people out. Then you got news outlets saying the National Guard and state police were out enforcing the ban Tuesday night. What is it? Does the National Guard and police all have shovels in hand? Or are they pulling people over to find out if they are essential or not? Are they out knocking on doors to make sure you're home? I'm not sure, but I'm getting stories coming from both ends. Buffalo's mayor said there is new concern as people continue to dig out looting. The Buffalo Police Department has created a new anti-looting detail. We have already made a number of requests, pardon me, a number of arrests, and will follow up very aggressively this looting, Brown said. And here's the funding kicker again. I've authorized our departments, the offices, to spend whatever they need, Polon Cars said. So a lot of people were worried about empty shelves at the grocery stores. They weren't empty. They were well stocked because no one could get to them. Here it says Buffalo City officials said shortages are not an issue. Some major grocery stores reopened Tuesday and stores said that they are well stocked with food and other essentials. Well, how helpful is that when you have to stay home and can't drive? President Joe Biden has approved emergency declaration for the state of New York following the deadly winter storm that killed at least 55 people nationwide. It no doubt was a tough storm more reason to be prepared for an emergency. So for the odd agenda driven people that are trying to get you to turn in people that are preparing for an emergency, emergency preparedness and being prepared at home is how you outweather a storm like that. The emergency declaration authorizes FEMA to get involved and to lend resources as well as provide federal disaster relief. Gonna need a lot of money. 
for the cost of emergency protective measures. The article goes on to say how bad the storm was, four feet of snow in some areas. It was a tough one. And they're anticipating all kinds of relief and this will last for many days to come. And the crazy thing is you gotta look at the bigger picture what have we gotten ourselves into? We've got military who's supposed to be protecting the country, not running our cities and towns, or not making sure people are staying home and staying off the roads. But have we gotten to a position where people can leave grocery stores with stolen goods? And in a lot of cases, the police can't do anything about it. Is that what it is? The police just don't have any authority anymore. So the military's got to come in and do it. Just thoughts. But the last thing we need is to be military ran in our cities and towns. The last thing we need is military everywhere. Military in front of the grocery stores instead of a security guard with probably semi-auto weapons, driving the ambulances, driving the fire trucks. It just kind of feels like we're headed somewhere not so good. And like I said, sometimes we need the good old boys out there helping each other out instead of being landlocked at home. Because when the emergencies happen, fire trucks, ambulances, they get stuck. The police are not gonna be able to help you out. They can't even help themselves. So like we say here at Riverside Homestead Life, be prepared, emergency preparedness. You guys wanna be able to weather the storm for when it hits. And back to the gas stations, tons of reports of gas station lootings and damage to the pumps. What type of people are going to gas stations and damaging the pumps, ruining the lines and ruining the payment systems, making it so that not even the emergency personnel can gas up. It doesn't sound like a good American thing to be doing. But then again, we have an open border letting just about anybody in the world in. So maybe they need to address that because I don't see a good old American damaging his own country. So what should you take from this? Our country is right on the edge. It's not gonna take much anymore to hit the tipping point. No one's prepared and they don't know how to prepare. Something crazy happens and people are gonna come off the rail. And more than anything, you guys gotta know about that so you're ready for when SHTF happens. You guys need to be SHTF ready because our country happens to be going nowhere good fast. Not sure what's around the corner, but we got a long winter yet to go and a lot more could go wrong. So be sure to tune in. We got lots of emergency preparedness videos. That way you guys can get a handle on being prepared. Don't forget to share and like the video. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing guys. We'll see you on the next one.